Howdy, howdy, folks. I am so excited to bring this to you today. It's a heated glove liner, but it actually works. I've been using it with my winter photography. I've been using it on my fat tire mountain bike. I've been using it cross-country skiing. Anybody who's outdoors all day long, construction workers, whatever you do, if you need to keep your hands warm, this is the liner for you. Stick around. We're going to review it. All right, let me walk you through a few of the features of this glove. First thing, it is got touch control. So if you're using a smartphone, you're using the back of the camera LCD like many of us do, anything that requires touch, these three fingers have touch pads on them. So you're all set in that regard. It's got a nice wide cuff going into the wrist to keep the snow out, which is fantastic. It's got an on-off switch, of course. Uh, long press for two seconds turns it on and off. Pressing it once knocks it down from high to medium. Press it again, takes it down from medium to low. Press again, goes up to high. It starts default on the high setting. There's two connection points for this glove from the battery. You can either have the battery inside the cuff of the glove itself, and there's a connection in there, or you can have it with a what they call a stick man. Remember in the old days when you had a string that went over your neck and came down your arms so that you didn't lose your mittens and, and your mom and dad had to replace them? Well, this has what's called a stick man, and it's got a wire that runs down into the cuff of the glove, okay, on both sides, and then you see this thing around my neck, right? And then I have the batteries just tucked inside the sleeve of my jacket. So there's the battery and I've got two of them. Hey, okay, one, two batteries. This is the 16 volt battery, much bigger. It doesn't fit in the cuff like the 12 volt battery. So I've got the 12 volt 3.2 amp hour battery in the cuff of the glove. I've got these two 16 volt batteries inside my jacket with the stick man. I don't even know they're there quite frankly. They're a good size battery and they last uh, a good long time. But I don't even know they're there. You can stick them in your pant pocket, your jacket pocket, if you don't have a, a sleeve inside like I do here. Uh, either way, works fine. Now, the standard battery, let me get my jacket done up here because it's probably minus 15 today and it's blowing a little bit and it's pretty cold. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I've got the gloves on high right now. My hands are perfectly fine without being inside my glove. Um, one of the things that I like about it is you could also use the battery inside the cuff of the glove. So if I remove the glove that's leading down from the stick man, okay, and I'll show you that I've got a 12 volt battery, and you don't have to have both, 16 volt and 12 volt battery. You can run with just the one set of batteries, right? This is the 12 volt 3.2 amp hour battery that I've got tucked inside the sleeve of the glove. And you might say, well, don't you really feel that? Is, is the additional weight a pain? Uh, no, not really. I don't even really notice that it's there, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm going to run with either the stick man or I'm going to run with this one. I, I might actually even decide to run with both. Uh, just because I can, I've got both batteries, and why not? Then I can run on high if I need to uh, for, for most of the day because I'll have both sets of batteries available to me. All right, let me just throw that back on, and I'll plug my stick man back in. There we go. So I can work both sets of batteries. I can, I've can. i got the 16 volts hooked up right now, and I can hook up, uh, if those run out, I can hook up the other two. But most people just go with a 3.2 um, amp hour battery, the 12 volt. That's the standard battery. You can go with that one. Uh, and if you think you need the additional heat, you can go with the 16 volt battery, which gives you 20% more heat 
but runs 25% less in terms of the time that you can use it. One of the really cool features uh, that I haven't seen on other gloves is a meter. So, I don't know if that worked or not, but I'm going to pop it up on the screen anyway as a picture. But it's got a, uh, a meter so that you can tell when you're at 100%, 75%, 50%, and 25% of your battery life, which will allow you when you're out to decide, hey, do I want to keep this thing on high for 3.7 hours? Uh, I'm going to be out longer than that. Maybe I'll put it on medium. Uh, or low if the temperatures allow me to do that so I can conserve the battery but at least I know where I'm at with that meter which I think is great. I really have to thank the guys at Motion Heat. You did it! Finally! We have a heated liner that actually works that keeps your hands warm. You can have your fingers out of your your mitt when you're shooting uh, or hey you don't have to be shooting you can be skiing i'm using them on my mountain bike for winter riding i'm sure guys who are on construction sites and so on and so forth that are out all day this is finally the heated liner that you can count on to keep you warm all day with a battery that's large enough 12 volt and 16 volt battery that actually lasts for a long time and puts out a lot of heat up to 60 65 degrees celsius of heat my hand inside this glove right now is actually too warm i have it what do i have it on i must have it on high i have it on high <laughs> my hand is too warm inside this glove and it's probably minus 15 out here right now this one that's not inside the glove i've got on high and it's warm it's fantastic i've never had this before Pardon my enthusiasm, but I've gone years and years using chemical warmers, uh, other heat liners that are seven volt batteries and so on. And when my fingers are outside the glove like they are today, I'm freezing. I think I have that Renault syndrome. I've never been diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I've got it because my hands freeze. Even when it's minus two, my hands are frozen. It's crazy, but these heated liners actually work. If you're interested in picking up a pair of these liners from Motion Heat, go to motionheat.ca. You can buy it as a set, so you get the stick man, the liners, and the battery. The standard battery is a 12 volt, but you can, you can choose whatever battery you want. If you want the uh, 16 volt, 3.2, uh, or the 5. Most people go, I'm told, go with the 12 volt 3.2. That's the standard battery. I also, because I wanted a little more heat for those really cold days, I got the 16 volt 3.2 as well, which is the one I have tucked in my pocket here that's attached to the stick man. And I have the 12 volt battery in the cuff of the glove. Uh, so once one runs out, I can flip to the other uh, if I'm out longer than I anticipate. I do have a coupon code that you can use. It's Cool Wildlife 15. You need to put a capital on the C in Cool, C O O L, a capital on Wild, W I L D, and a capital on the L for Life, and then the number 15 after it. So Cool Wildlife 15, and you'll get 15% off your purchase and their shipping and their customer service has been fantastic. Uh, I've had a couple of calls back and forth on the difference between the batteries and how long they last and so on, and they reply right away. So don't hesitate to contact them. Till then, enjoy your winter activity. Stay warm. To see you next time. Sharing this content with you is so much fun for me. If you want to help support the channel, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, bang on the alert button, share it out, or give us a comment. It all helps and it's much appreciated.